so you called? <laughs> I'll wave at you on the camera. Is she gonna wear hers today? <laughs> are, you gonna, are you wearing yours? I wear my sweats. Oh, hey, Mama Hall, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> You're making us all cry. Oh, I really wish we could get all of this great night. I wish you were here. Oh, I'm so happy that we're having here. We have gathered here today, both physically and remotely, united by God's Spirit to witness and bless the joining together of Hope Hall and Justin Becker in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us for one another. With His presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in His sacrificial love gave us the example of the love of husband and wife. Hope and Justin come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I'm haunted As history comes and culminates We're fed the things we're taught to hate Unwanted The paths they come to take us There's all politics and disrepair September when you said yes or earlier this year when we began talking and planning for tonight I'm sure that tonight may not look exactly like what you had in mind I imagine as you look upon your family and friends we see some faces that are veiled uh, hard to see if they're smiling or frowning or what's happening uh, they're all a bit spread out as though there's a shortage of deodorant out there but this gathering and these celebrations they aren't going to have everyone in attendance that you would love to have celebrating with you today and I'll be honest, as I stand here officiating the service, I feel a twinge of sadness on your behalf, a sense of sorrow that maybe this day isn't exactly what you'd hoped it would be. But to be honest, counter to that, I also feel a bit of excitement for the two of you. I know that may sound odd, but I'm excited for you because of the foundation and the strength that your marriage gets to display from the very beginning. Because by standing here, in the context of this evening, with everything that's going on in the world, from day one, you get the chance to say, even when things aren't perfect, even when things don't go our way, even in the midst of hardships and struggles, you get to profess before God and these people that you still have what is most important, one another and the commitment to each other and to God that you make today. Lord, thank you so much. <laughs> for this beautiful day to celebrate Hope and Justin. Thank you so much for having us here today. Through Corona, through everything, we made it, they made it, and we're so thankful. 
um, to have hope and trust in our life and that we just pray for us to be able to support them in their journey as Mr. and Mrs. And thank you so much. We love hope. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> When we began meeting earlier this year to start talking about tonight, I heard of a relationship that started as a friendship among co-workers. Actually, Justin, you worked for Hope, right? Was that correct? I guess that's good that early on the two of you learned that you work well together. And following working with one another, a friendship formed and a friendship that blossomed into something more. I remember asking each of you, when did you know when the other was the one for you and the one who you knew you wanted to spend the rest of your life with? And Hope, you spoke not about a moment, but a series of moments, built first upon a caring friendship. And Justin, you spoke about coming to a point in time you just couldn't picture your life without hope in it. From this friendship, a love for each other grew, a love, Justin, that you described as caring for and a desire to serve hope more than any other person in your life. A love that you described hope as a knowledge coming from deep within that you cared for Justin above any other and the comfort and the calm that you experience in his presence, knowing that things are just right. And of course, this love for one another led to a question back in September, right, of last year as the two of you watched the sunrise. It's the answer to that question that brought us here today. I Justin. I Justin. Take you hope. Take you hope. To be my wife. To be my wife. In the name of God. In the name of God. I hope. I hope. Take you Justin. Take you Justin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. We're half sunken void. Are we stuck in the past? We're still looking for signs. We're still following maps. Oh, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Justin Becker. Woo!